So it turns out the attacker at the Christmas parade in Wisconsin was a black supremacist. And I bring that up because it is evident that this was this attack at the Christmas parade was an Illuminati black supremacist attack. And I do believe it was also an Illuminati uh, satanic blood sacrifice of the, at the celebration at this parade, this holiday parade of the satanic high day, Illuminati high day of Saturnalia. The Jesuit-led Illuminati black power structure serves the purpose of fomenting a race war. Uh, you got black supremacists like Louis Farrakhan, they're Freemasons. And they serve the purpose of the Illuminati by preaching hatred of white people to stir up anti-white racism among, among blacks. So make no mistake about it. Uh, this was an attack at the uh, Christmas parade. It was a black supremacist terrorist attack. And the attacker was openly a black supremacist. He hated white people. He called for violence against white people. The Jesuit-led media rarely reports on this blatant anti-white racism from the Illuminati black supremacist terrorist groups like Black Lives Matter. But again, this black supremacist terrorist attack will be used to foment anti-white racism and vice versa, which does serve the satanic Jesuit agenda of fomenting a race war, which will lead to the Antichrist agenda, the New World Order of Revelation 13. This race war will lead to the New World Order, the Illuminati agenda of order out of chaos. This will all lead to the rise of the Antichrist in Revelation chapter 13. That's what this is all leading to, the rise of the Antichrist kingdom. And again, black supremacy, it was a terrorist attack by black supremacy. This was a black, black supremacy bears responsibility for this terrorist attack, as well as this Illuminati satanic high sacrifice on this satanic high day of Saturnalia. I'm gonna read this article on the New York Post. So Daryl Brooks, he's the name of the attacker, shared pro-Hitler memes and called for violence against white people. So the media, the left-wing Jesuit media, the Luciferian media wants to make it seem like, oh, there was no motive, it was just an accident, he was fleeing a knife attack. No, the motive was hatred of white people. That he did it out of a hate and loathing of white people and anything related to white people, which, you know, Christmas could be interpreted as that. As that. So I'm gonna read this article. The ex-con charged over the death of six people at a Wisconsin Christmas parade shared social media posts calling for violence against white people and suggesting that, quote, Hitler was right for killing Jews. Daryl Brooks Jr., who has a decades-long rap sheet, shared a series of disturbing memes and messages on social media, most of which uh, have been deleted since his arrest on Sunday, after, since his arrest for Sunday's deadly carnage. It included numerous posts attacking cops, comparing them to Ku Klux Klan members, and calling them violent street gangs, as well as calling for violence towards white people according to the screenshots. Now I actually do have some of the screenshots, and I'll show them in this video. They also show some of the screenshots in this post as well. But let me just pull up some of the screenshots in this uh, Facebook page, showing you that this was a motivation of anti-white racism. This was motivated by anti-white racism. Here's the first screenshot that he had on his Facebook page. Uh, this was on June 9th, 2020. Uh, he says, this is his Facebook page, he says, learned ND taught behavior. So when uh, we start uh, back knocking down white people, the, uh, the F, which is a cuss word, you know, he's using that to symbolize the F word, uh, the F out, I'm gonna, I am wanna hear it, the old white people to knock them dem out, period. He talks like some weird, like, jungle island person it's really weird he talks like he's from the jungle it's, really, it's weird how he talks but he's basically talking about knocking out old white people and i don't understand why these black hebrew Israelites like always have to talk so weird it just i never understood it but uh to each his own and they are a, a weird bunch here's the next photo screenshot from his facebook page so he's, he's middle finger cops and with all these expletive emojis and then he's got the on the post of black lives matter so he was motivated by black lives matter to do this terrorist attack it was a black supremacist terrorist attack, plain and simple. And here he is, you know, dissing off the police. And of course, the cops are not perfect. I'm not saying they are, but the media won't report on stuff like this. And here is a picture of his post on Hitler, uh, where he's basically saying Hitler knew who the real Jews were, because of course, he again, he's a black Hebrew Israelite, so he thinks that blacks are the real Jews. And it's just, it's, it's a weird cult that he's part of, but he's got a Hitler meme right here, and he's got hashtag research on the post. But those are just some of the screenshots. His Facebook page had anti-white posts on there. It had anti-white posts and calls for violence against white people. So this was motivated by black supremacy. Don't let the media tell you otherwise. So let's get back into the article. Quote, learned ND taught behavior. He wrote on June 9th last year amid several, amid the violent upheaval over George Floyd's murder by a Minnesota cop, according to a screenshot shared by the Daily Mail. 
Uh, I already read the post right there. Police have yet to announce a motive for Sunday's carnage. Yeah, it was black supremacy. That was his motive. Uh, also, the serving the agenda of the Illuminati sacrifice on the, the satanic holiday of Saturnalia. Uh, Sunday's carnage. But all six who died, including the eight-year-old boy, were white. So, is a, is a, a coincidence that all of them were white. He was targeting white people in this rampage. In this... Illuminati high, high Day Sacrifice. In 2015, he shared a disturbing anti-Semitic meme that appeared to align the beliefs of the black Hebrew Israelites, according to another screenshot shared by the Daily Mail. Titled, Hitler Knew Who the Real Jews Were. It shares the widely debunked claim that the Nazi maniac had warned about his genocide was partly driven because he knew that, quote, Negroes, Negroes were the true Hebrews. It suggests that World War III will start, will start when, when people learn Hitler was right and did the world a favor by killing Jews. So that's another thing they post on his Facebook page. So the guy was obviously a black supremacist. He was a black supremacist maniac. That's what he was. And people may get offended by when I say a black supremacist. That's what he was. He was a black uh, supremacist terrorist. And let me just, yeah, it mostly just show screenshots down there. But that's the rest of the article. Let me just, yeah, that's the rest of the article right there. But, uh, yeah, that's the whole article. But the guy was a terrorist, and he was serving the Illuminati agenda. So I wanted to bring that out, okay? The media don't doesn't cover stuff like this because it goes against their agenda of this constant white supremacist threat. No, there's a black supremacist threat in America, too. That simple. So don't be deceived by the left-wing media, media's narrative, and don't be duped. This was an Illuminati blood sacrifice on the, hol the celebration of the satanic high day of Saturnalia. And anyway, just don't be deceived by all the propaganda out there by the Illuminati, the Jesuit-ran Illuminati. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with all the brethren. Goodbye.